as Ms. Keenan said, my name is Cassandra Armwood, and I'm, a, I'm known to most as Cassie. And I'm here today to share why I wanted to start my own business and what it feels and what I feel it has accomplished. My center is called Dance It Off. This is my daughter, Alessandra, Allie for short. She helps me also. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I've only uh, been open approximately two, maybe two months now. Um, for me, this is a personal gratification. Um, in the past, I've had a lot of health issues and in 2012, I had a battle with breast cancer, and this was my wake-up call. And um, now I am three years free, cancer-free. I'm not business savvy at all, but I knew I needed a building to start off with, and it had to be in a special area, out in the open, and affordable. So my prayers have been answered and my faith increased and I have the keys to the building now and it's called Dance It Off Exercise and Fitness for Adults and Teens. And this is where I instruct line dancing to the adults and teens if they want to come. It's not a dance competition. It's okay if you don't have rhythm but I do need you to know your right from your left. <laughs> then you can lounge dance. It's a fun alternative to the gym. I try to keep you motivated and stepping for at least two hours. But you know your limitations, so I'm not pushy unless you want me to push you. I want people to come. I want people to join me to a healthier road in life, because health issues in America are on the rise. We have obesity, diabetes, cancer, strokes, heart disease, which is not only targeted to the elderly anymore. We all need to make better choices in life. And I'm happy to help others laugh and have fun, all while we're maybe losing weight, toning up, or just strengthening your heart muscles so you can live longer just by stepping to music. Now my vision is to move forward to put Del Mar on the map. I wanna have Zumba classes, I wanna have hip hop classes. So if, if anyone interested in joining me that knows how to Zumba or knows someone that is an instructor, I'll be glad to welcome you to my center because I know this will uh, attract a diverse group and maybe eventually we can get a bigger building. Because everything is not for everybody, but somebody will like something. So I thank you for inviting me, Ms. Kina, nice meeting you. And I pray blessings and success to everyone here in your life endeavors. Thank you. Very nice, very nice. Now we stay right there. <laughs> yes, what we do now is that we open the floor up so that you can get some feedback and questions, oh, okay. and we have some interaction. So, okay. Okay. okay, is that good? All righty. Who would like to begin? Please, please use the mic. I'm sorry, I should have said... Please use the microphone because we are videotaping it. We don't want to miss anybody's important words. Where are you located and what kind of um, pricing do you have for your classes? Okay, I'm located in Del Mar, Delaware. Uh, I have the address on a card so I can give it to you before I leave. And um, I have a $10 session. It's $10 for a two-hour session. And um, 
we get you warmed up before we start into the line dances. So we do some, um, just not tone up, but just slow movements to get you warmed up, get your body, get your juices flowing. And then we go into some, uh, not high tech, not, not bouncing and jumping, just stepping. And some soft music, you know, just to get you going, get you moving. You mentioned hip hop and Zumba classes. Yeah, that's for someone that can, if you are a high energetic person and you like to run and jump and bounce, the Zumba is more for you and uh, hip hop is definitely for you. Because if you look into the news now or if you look, have TV, you see the size exercise with the Sean T guy. Well, I don't have six packs or anything like that because I'm just starting out. But I would like to be able to fit into a nice little, what size, six dress maybe down the road. <laughs> But anyway, but it's good. It's good to just get up and just move your body. Yeah. What kind of music could one could one expect in your just your regular classes? Um, it's popular line dance songs. A lot of them are seen at weddings and stuff like the group dances, uh, the wobble. Uh, let's see, the biker shuffle, electric slide. I think that's the popular thing that's out there. So it's mostly on that line. Sounds like I could learn a thing or two. <laughs> who would like? <laughs> who would like to? There we go. Well, thank you very much for uh, obviously your presentation this morning, and uh, you're probably one of the newest <laughs> as far as businesses that we've actually had present here, and it's nice to see a entrepreneur oh. that's coming right from the <laughs> just from getting your first building up. How how large an area do you have? Com let's say compared to this stage. How, how large is your area? Um, it, it's, a, it's a good size. It's three rooms, but it's, it's set in sections. So it's a good size of this area. This area right and here. when you say line dancing, it's, it's everything that you've just mentioned. It, it's not the, some of us country folk oh, yeah. think it's uh, uh, line dancing for country folk. But yes, you know, it is. You can, if you like to do something, when you request it, I'll learn it, and I will definitely instructs you how to get there. And the electric slide electric takes slide. me back a few years, yeah, too. Yeah, right? I got you on the electric slide. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to, I see on the back of your card, by the way, and I see your address on here, uh, 603 By State Boulevard, Unit A, Unit a right? Yeah. And um, I, I think I know Del Mar enough to, that I could find this yeah, it, by this it's, address. It's down from the fire department, yeah. and you're going, you're going north. Yeah, north. Going and north. And if you come from the fire department, keep keep going north on the old state boulevard, like going toward Laurel. Yeah. But you're gonna you're gonna come up on um, where the library used to be. You're gonna pass that, and you're gonna keep going, and it's uh, Old Meadows Senior Center. Yeah. And right across from that is where I'm located. And it used to be uh, Costumes by Keenan, the building that used to be there where they sold the gowns and stuff to kids for before prom. And if you go past Brian Brittenham, you've gone too far, turn around and come back. Well, for some people that might be a challenge, you know, to find <laughs> you. That, that, that's just a mm -hmm. point that I'm making there. On the back of the car that says, okay, $10, two hour lesson session, Hours 3 to 7 p.m., yes, Monday there, through Friday? Monday through Friday, I'm in there. All line dancing and no small children, please. Okay. And how did you come to say that $10 for a two-hour session was the right price point? Um, I'm starting with the $10, the $10 session um, because of the bill of the electric and also for the rent of the building. And, so you, and I'm so calculating how many people will eventually come and start out, and I kind of times that. So it sounds like you have some semblance of a business plan. Mm -hmm. And the business plan and this price point is really structured around your cost, cost. basis, correct? Mm -hmm. And how, how many do you feel you're going to have to have as far as volume of business to actually meet your business plan? 
If I get over 12 ladies a day, I think I will be making out pretty good. So 12 participants mm -hmm. per day. Mm -hmm. Monday through Friday. Monday through. Five days, right? And obviously every week out of the month. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And, the, and I have been putting out the ladies that I have met and that have been coming, and I always get their number and um, their phone, their cell number, to, so I can text them in case something happens and somebody has an emergency. So we're all, like, in contact with each other. So everyone that comes there, we all, in a circle, we meet each other, we talk, get to know each other, exchange numbers, and if something happens where I can't be there, then I can put out a text and everyone knows. Okay, so it's 12 ladies a day and uh, no, ch no small children and no men. Is that what it should say? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I was just, I I was just checking to see if, <laughs> see if you would accept. <laughs> no, bring, 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 I always tell them to bring a friend, bring your significant other or whatever you want to call him, your better half, yeah. sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's open. It's open, so to speak, open. to all. I don't. All right, thank you all. <laughs> thank you. Do you have any uh, setup schedule, or let's say, I came back from school. I said, mm, "I want to dance," and I'm just going. Just or come. Should yes, just come in and schedule it's, appointment. It's, it's, you don't have to schedule appointment. Just if you come in, I'm there from three to seven. Mm -hmm. So if you come at three thirty. Mm -hmm. And you want to stay 3:30? We'll work you right in. So it's basically it turns to be pretty much individual lessons. Yeah. May I add said so, Yes, my tongue is twisted here. May I add something about the directions? Mm -hmm. It's really very easy to find. I want to make sure that Mike knows this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you're on Route 13 and you come to the light at Del Mar, where the the, the state line is, where Delaware meets Maryland and you turn west, for most of us, if you're going south, that would be turning right, and just follow that to the next light, make another right, and you're gonna see it up on your left-hand side. It's very easy, it's probably not even a quarter of a mile from that light, so it's very easy to find. So, oh, we got another question here, or comment. By the way, I, it seems like I have contact for Zumba instructor for you, you just confirmed. Oh. So talk to me after. Okay. I have another suggestion for you. You mentioned about Zumba. I was looking for a Zumba class, and so I Googled Zumba, and it came up it, by following the different prompts. I was able to link into local instructors and where they are, are um, currently offering the classes, and you might consider that avenue okay. to maybe connect with someone that offers okay. it, you know, certified instructor. Other questions, comments, feedback? Just a thought, um, that area there is a lot of Hispanic population. Have you ever thought about offering something like salsa, bachata? That should be really popular. I have, I have two girlfriends um, mm -hmm. that are, they love salsa. And um, her name is Olga, and um, she said that she's willing to come and start uh, doing some salsa music and, and aligning with the line dance skill. Yeah, yeah, because I know that there is no schools who offer this, okay. so that could be your something like okay. popping up. All right. <laughs> Thank you. We had another presenter here. Uh, I believe her name was Nancy McCula, and she has a, a dance, kind of a, like a dance studio for children and uh, mu doing music and dance. And I was just thinking that um, as you grow, if you have a clientele that has children, you might consider linking with her, and maybe she could have a staff member uh, work with children of, you know, um, of your, your uh, clients. I'd like to add that I like the, uh, I like the name. I mean, so to speak to all of us, it, it says it all, dance it off. And I like the fact that you're really bringing physical fitness through dance. And conceptually, I... I think it's a, it's great. I cer certainly wish you all the luck in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Anyone else? 
I would like to make a statement on, I think you said, um, did the price fit in with other organizations that were doing similar, similar um, exercises or action? That's what you said before. That's what you meant. Were the, was the price range in compliance with other businesses and other organizations? Yeah, that's what you how, wanted how to know. How did you structure your, pr your price point to get to $10 for a two-hour session, which I think is very reasonable. So, to, I mean, I didn't say that, but I think it's very reasonable. So I, I was asking it from the standpoint of how she answered it. She used it as part of her business plan, mm -hmm. but it addressed it from the cost structure standpoint. Then I came back and asked the question, well, then how many people per day are you counting on to make it happen. And right. that, that's what I was trying to get at if I wasn't clear. Okay, well, I wanted to answer in with that because uh, most of the exercise um, places that you go, even if it's therapy or whatever, basically you pay 25 to so much a month. And if you figure it in, you know, what you're gonna do per week or however you're going to do it, uh, I would think it, it's compliance and falling right into the the uh, regular businesses that are up doing it. It's not out of out of protocol. Well, that's, that's good to know. The other thought would be uh, that you just reminded me, most organizations, clubs that you join, you pay the fee whether you show up or not. And whether or not, see, she's starting off and saying, well, that's not the foundation of my business. However, you might get to a point, it becomes part and parcel a foundation of your business to make certain your sustainability is there. Yeah, because this is just starting out. I think that's an important topic that they've hit on. Uh, number one, as an entrepreneurship instructor, we teach that you need to discover what your competitive advantage is. What are you doing different than those who are in a similar industry in your area? Mm -hmm. And being aware of what that competition is charging is part of that. And I think that was kind of where, where it was, not really questioning what you're doing, but, but understanding it and um, developing your pricing around oh, a cost well, base is very right. common. Um, but I do encourage you to be aware so that way you know where you stand with the industry and you can get your yeah. market share. And, but I think what you're also offering is different than what's in the in the vicinity. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I have to compliment you on that name again. I, I agree with, with the comments about that. Anyone else? No? Okay. Well, we like to finish with a question by asking you, what can we as a community do to help support you? As a community? Sure. Please, please help me advertise it. <laughs> To your friends, your neighbors, anyone you come across, just, just put it out there for me. I just had one more thing to add. I didn't realize that Facebook, you could actually pay very, very small amounts of money to have your business advertised. And um, I mean, like for $5, it'll tell you exactly how many people um, it shoots out to. And so now that's what we've been doing. And... I mean, it's up to like 9,000, um, like not post clicks, it doesn't say, but it's like 9,000 people reached and then it'll say 1,000 clicks and it'll say that type of thing. So somebody had suggested that because advertising in newspapers can be very costly mm -hmm. um, and Facebook is now, it's up and coming, it's kind of the new thing and people our age especially are on there, all ages are on there, but for this particular um, for your particular business, I think that age group would really benefit from Facebook. So, I mean, you can you can put your um, credit card number in there, and I know some people don't like to do that, but for like five and ten dollars, and you get so many hits, and it keeps doing it. Like, you don't have to keep paying. You can keep paying it to get more people, but that's one thing we've noticed. So, that's a thought too. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And it you you pick the area you want it to go out to. So you can pick okay. Delmar. 
and it goes out to all the people in Del Mar that are on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Great I could be on suggestion. Yeah. Good. Awesome. <laughs> well, we do wish you much luck and success, thank and we you. hope that you'll come back again and give us an update. Oh, thank you. Thank you for thank coming. Thank you, everyone.